Hi, I'm Kim Simmons. I'm CEO and founder of Law365. I'm bringing these bite-sized videos to your attention to help explain the blogs that we've been writing and issuing on LinkedIn. Um, the very first blog that has received a lot of um, attention and um, uh, a lot of customers actually needing a bit more advice on is the blog that we recently wrote around time is of the essence. This seemingly innocent phrase can cause so much more damage than suppliers of IT services really understand. So I wanted to bring to your attention um, exactly what this phrase means and why it's uh, a potent phrase for a lot of suppliers, but also, interestingly, how it can be an arsenal in their back pocket um, in terms of payment obligations. So let's break this down. Time is of the essence is a phrase that we devised um, at law to explain that a project is, is time sensitive and suppliers of IT services will certainly understand and appreciate the sensitivity that a lot of customers feel um, and need from their suppliers. So what happens is in your statements of work, if you've got any type of milestone, um, milestone times and dates set to achieve those milestones, and the customer has uh, sneakily inserted a time is of the essence against your delivery obligation. So you have to deliver time is of the essence uh, language in your contracts. That means if you happen to delay any type of um, service, even by one minute against what you promised in your statements of work, that allows the customer to terminate the contract and also claim for damages. So that can be quite a potent uh, issue for suppliers if you're dealing with any type of size of contract, but especially when you're looking at massive big numbers, you know, anything from half a million uh, pounds plus. So you really have got to think about what, what does this phrase mean? Where is it in this contract? And how do I get rid of it? This is the number one thing, cross it out, make sure it's not in there. So. Um, I hope that sort of breaks it down in terms of um, what you should be removing. Now, interestingly, you can use this in your favour. So under your payment obligations, you can actually state that time is of the essence for the payment. So if customers or you particularly have a customer that's notoriously bad at paying or you've, you've heard on the grapevine, they're, they're not good payers, you might want to obligate them in the same vein to make sure that they pay on time. And that payment... Um, is, is critical obviously for your cash flow. So time is of the essence means that if they don't pay, what you have then is the ability to turn around and say, well, we have the ability to now terminate, which is more leverage for you because at that point, you don't, you know, customers don't really want you to terminate if you're mid flow. Um, even though it's not necessarily a supplier, um, you know, nice thing to have, it's still something that you can leverage to make sure payment is made. But the only caveat with all of this is if you, as supplier of IT services, ever put time is of the essence, even when it's to your favor, you have to be careful because customers might start to use it against you in terms of delivery obligations. When you put it in someone's mind, they start to think, well, how can we use this for our benefit? So do be careful with that. There are other ways of structuring payment obligations to make sure you're getting paid on time. So, you know, do think about that and do think about what's really important for you. Um, Below, I have uh, given you the link to the article if you want to refresh, there's a little bit more detail there. This is really supposed to be a very quick, this is almost four minute um, video, just to give you a bit of an understanding as to why this is very important. Please feel free to contact myself or anyone on our team at Law365. Website is www.law365.co. Thank you very much. Please stay safe and thank you so much for listening to me. Bye-bye.